Hello, baseball fans. Welcome back to the 1941 New York Yankees season. I'm not going to play every game in this, so I wanted to show you what I've simulated. We played this game in the first video where the Yankees beat the Tigers on opening day 9 to nothing, and I simulated three games. They went on to sweep the Tigers, beat them 7 to 2 and then 4 to 1. Had a day off on April the 4th, then April 5th, 1941. Playing on the road at the Red Sox, the Yankees won 8-6. to six. So the Yankees have started off 1941 4-0. In here, at the Red Sox now, we're going to go in and play game two. It's at 7.05, and we have Marius Russo projected for the Yankees to start at Lefty Grove. So we will play this game together. So we'll start Marius Russo. He had a really good first start. See if that will continue. And Lefty Grove will be pitching for the Red Sox, left-hander. So we want to bring up, let's see here. So this is our lineup. Rizzuto at short, Gordon at second, Keller in left, DiMaggio in center, Henrik in right field, Buddy Rosar, catcher, Red Rolf at third, Johnny Sturm. Sturm, looks like Sturm at first, and Marius Russo as the pitcher. And so we will go forward with that lineup. And here's Fenway Park, the dimensions, 315 down the line in left field, 379 in left center, up on the green monster there, 420 in center, 380 in right center, and 304 down the right field line. So Phil Rizzuto will start off against Lefty Grove. Lefty Grove, 41 years old, 293 career wins. If I'm not mistaken, I think I think this is the season, Lefty Grove. I think he won seven. The predicted here, I think, shows maybe what he really did in 1941. Here's what he's done so far in the season. This is his first start of the year. So we'll see if he really gets 300 wins on the year. But Phil Rizzuto will start off. He's batting 381 so far through five games. And here's the first pitch to Rizzuto. The one-two pitch. Rizzuto hits the ball hard back up the middle. That's going to be a base hit to lead off the game. Rizzuto singles back through the middle. And Joe Gordon now for the Yankees comes to the plate. He's batting just 111. It's two hits through five games. And so Gordon looking to get things going here with a runner on first should be still with Rizzuto now let's let Gordon hit here he may regret this one two pitch strikeout looking for Gordon his early season struggles continue and Charlie Keller now comes to the plate for the Yankees he is batting 357 uh, so far with three RBIs he's been walked six times Charlie Keller with one out on her own first base three two pitch Hits the ball hard down to first base. This could be two, and it is. Keller grounds the first for a double play, six or three, six, one, double play. And so with that, the Yankees get a leadoff single, but can't do anything with it. Pete Fox now comes to the plate for the Red Sox. He is their right fielder. Here's the pitch, two, one. Hits on the ground to second, and the second baseman dives, knocks it down. But can't do anything with it, and Pete Fox has an infield single to the second baseman. Joe DiMaggio's younger brother, Dom DiMaggio, now comes to the plate. He's hitting 235 so far in this young season. DiMaggio a good hitter in his own right. Nobody out. Here comes the pitch. DiMaggio swings, hits it on the ground a second. Could this be two? Flips to second, but DiMaggio with too much speed. He beats the throw at first, and so the Yankees, though, get one out. And there's still a runner on first for Joe Cronin, Red Sox shortstop. Here comes the 0-1 pitch to Cronin. Hits the ball high in the air, out to right center. Right fielder's under it, and Joe Cronin flies out. Now we have the Splendid Splinter. What all is his nickname? I think this tells us here. Uh, the kid, the Splendid Splinter, yeah. Up 22 years old, he's hitting 313 on this young season in real life. He hit four, this was the season he hit 406. So, Ted Williams, uh, we'll see what he does on the year, but could have a very good year. Ted Williams now with two outs and runner on first. Here's the 3 2 pitch to Williams, and he walked. Jimmy Fox now 
comes to the plate. 33 years old, 501 home runs, already has a home run on this young season. Still plenty of pop in Jimmy Fox's bat. He comes to the plate with two outs, runners on first and second, the 1-1 pitch. He ropes the ball into left field, and that's going to score a run. Jimmy Fox with a single drives in the first run of the game, and the Red Sox are up 1-0. Bobby Doerr now comes to the plate. The Red Sox second baseman with two outs, runners on first and second, 3-2 pitch. And Mario Russo walks in. The bases are full for Jim Tabor, the Red Sox third baseman. Two outs, bases are full, the 3-1 pitch. Hits the ball hard back up the middle. That's going to score at least one. And Jimmy Fox, is he going to keep going? He does. Tabor singles, Tabor singles up the middle, drives in two runs, and just like that, the Red Sox are up three to nothing in the bottom of the first. Frankie, let's see if I can say this dude's name. Piedlack. And we'll go with that. Frankie, the Red Sox catcher with two outs. Runners on first and second, the 2-2 pitch. Swings, ball gets down into right field. Door is going to score. Tabor is going to go from first to third. And the Red Sox just keep piling on runs. Lefty Grove now comes to the plate with a four-run lead and two outs, runners on the corners. The full count pitch to Grove, and he walks the pitcher. Russo is really struggling. He's thrown 41 pitches so far. We're back to the top of the order. The Red Sox bat around in inning number one. Pete Fox now. Two outs and the base is loaded. The 0-1 pitch. Hits the ball in the air out to center. Can DiMaggio get there? The ball drops in in front of Joe DiMaggio. Two runs score. And the Red Sox are up 6-0. Russo is just getting blasted here in the first inning in Fenway Park. Red Sox fans are going crazy. Dom DiMaggio now with two outs. Runners at the corners, the 1-1 pitch to DiMaggio. Hits the ball on the ground to first base. This should be out number three. Steps on first, and the Yankees are finally out of that inning. But not after. The Red Sox score six runs on five hits and leave two on base. We go to the top of the second, but the Red Sox winning six to nothing. Joe DiMaggio now comes to the plate against Lefty Grove to lead off the second. First pitch of the at-bat is hit on the ground up the middle, but should be playable. Second baseman has it, throws over to first, and Joe DiMaggio is out at first. Tommy Henrik comes to the plate with one out. 3-2 pitch. It's the ball high and deep to left center. This one is caught by the center fielder. He catches up to it on the warning track, and he got a hold of that one, but couldn't get it out of the state or couldn't get it out of the field. Buddy Rosar now comes to the plate for the Yankees, the Yankee catcher. Two outs, the 1-0 pitch. He hits the ball down the line, but it's caught by the Red Sox first baseman. It jumps in the air, stretches out, makes a great catch. The Yankees hit the ball hard that inning, but great defensive plays by the Red Sox uh, defense there. Joe Cronin now back to the plate. Now the Red Sox shortstop in the bottom of the second. The 2-1 pitch, Cronin hits the ball on the ground to the third baseman. Throws over to first, and Cronin is out number one. Ted Williams now with one out. Comes to the plate, the 3-1 pitch. Williams reaches out, hits the ball in the air to center. Joe DiMaggio can't get to it. It falls in. Ted Williams singles to short left center for a base hit. Jimmy Fox with one out, and Ted Williams standing on first. The 1-2 pitch to Fox. He goes down looking. Jimmy Fox strikes out for out number two, and that brings up Bobby Doerr. Here's the two-out pitch to Doerr. He hits the ball on the ground to the second baseman who fields it, tosses over to first, and Doerr is out at second. So the Red Sox get a hit, but don't add on any runs in the bottom of the second. We move to the top of the third. Lefty Grove still on the mound, and the Red Sox still leading 6 to nothing. Red Rolfe to the plate for the Yankees. Pops the ball up on the infield in foul territory. And the catcher makes the easy play. One out. Johnny Sturm now, Red, uh, the Yankee first baseman. The 0-2 pitch. Swings, hits the ball on the ground, the shortstop. He fields it, throws over to first. Easy out. And Russo with two outs now. The Yankee pitcher comes to the plate. The 3-2 pitch. He swings. 
high in the air out to right field, but should be playable. And it is. And the Yankees go one, two, three in the bottom or in the top of the third. We move to the bottom of the third. Red Sox still up 3 0. Jim Tabor at the plate. 1 1 pitch. Hits the ball deep to center. Can DiMaggio get there? He does. DiMaggio catches up to it. And Tabor flies out for out number one in the bottom of the third. Frankie, <laughs> never seen that many consonants together. <laughs> Frankie Pitelack. Pite, I'm going to say Pitelack. Pitelack. Frankie Pitelack, the catcher. One out, 3 2 pitch. Swings and struck him out. Russo strikes out the Red Sox catcher, and that brings Lefty Grove to the plate. The 0 1 pitch to Grove. He swings, hits the ball on the ground with the second baseman, who throws over to first, and Lefty Grove is out. And so Russo finally gets a 1 2 3 inning there in the bottom of the third. Lefty Grove now will face the top of the Yankee order, Phil Rizzuto. Comes the first pitch of the at bat. He hits the ball between first and second, gets past the second baseman. Rizzuto is on base for the second time with a single. Joe Gordon now comes to the plate. The run on first and nobody out. 1-1 pitch. He pops the ball up into right center. Center fielder is there. Joe Gordon is out. Charlie Keller now with one out and Rizzuto down on first. The 0-1 pitch to Keller. He hits the ball on the ground a shortstop. This should be two. But Keller beats out the ball at first. So Charlie Keller grounds to short. The runner's out at second. But Charlie Keller is standing on first with two outs. Joe DiMaggio now with a chance to extend the inning for the Yankees. First pitch of the at-bat, DiMaggio swings. Hits the ball hard, but right to the second baseman. who flips over to first, and DiMaggio is out. And so the Yankees get another hit, but they leave another runner on base, and they're still down 6 to nothing going to the bottom of the fourth. Pete Fox now leading off the inning for the Red Sox. He hits the ball hard to the second baseman. Tosses the first, and Pete Fox is out number one here in the bottom of the fourth. Dom DiMaggio comes to the plate for the third time in four innings. Now, 3-1 pitch to DiMaggio, who swings, hits the ball down to first. First baseman gloves it, steps on first base. DiMaggio is out easily. Joe Cronin now with two outs and no one on. To the plate, the 2-1 pitch. Hits the ball between short and third, and Cronin is standing on first base with a two-out single. Ted Williams now, two outs, runner on first. The 2-1 pitch to Williams. He swings, hits the ball hard out to left field. Ball's going to get out. Ted Williams is two for two with a walk now in the game, which brings to the plate one of the all-time great power hitters, Jimmy Fox. Long-time player with the Philadelphia Athletics. Now has been with Boston since 1936. Two outs. Runners on first and second. The pitch to Fox. Hits the ball on the ground to third. This should be out number three, and it is. Red Sox get two hits, but they leave them on base. And the inning is over. We move to the top of the fifth. Red Sox still lead six to nothing. Tommy Henrik now will lead off the inning for the Yankees. Gets the ball back up the middle. Does it get through? Yes, it does. The ball scoots through up the middle. And Henrik is standing on first with a leadoff single. Buddy Rosar, Yankee catcher, comes to the plate against Lefty Grove. Nobody out. He swings. Hits the ball in the air into the gap. Will it get down? No. The left fielder catches up to it. Buddy Rosar lines out to left. Great play by the Red Sox left fielder, who is Ted Williams. Williams did a great job catching up to that one. Red Rolfe, one out, runner on first, the 1-1 pitch. Swings and pops the ball up into left field. Ted Williams settles under it, and Rolf, he is out. Johnny Sturm with two outs, runner on first, the 0-2 pitch. And he watches that one go by, struck out on a curveball. The Yankees go down quietly again in the top of the fifth. Russo now. Yankees are probably hoping he can get through. Well, I say probably. I am managing the lineup. Really hoping Russo can at least get through the fifth inning so as not to strain the bullpen too much. Bobby Doerr now 
comes to bat. The 0-1 pitch, he swings, hits the ball out to right field. But the right fielder is there, and he's out number one. Jim Tabor now. 1-1 pitch with one out. Swings, hits the ball on the ground to the shortstop. Rizzuto fields it, throws over the first, and Tabor is out number two. Frankie, let's see if I can say his name right. Frankie Pitelag. I sure hope that's right. But he's the catcher, and with two outs, he comes to the plate. The 2-0 pitch. Hits the ball on a line, past a uh, diving third baseman. Can't get it. It's down in the corner. Pitelag doubles down the third baseline, and he's standing on second with a two-out double. Lefty Grove now with a chance to add to the Red Sox lead. Two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. The 0-1 pitch to Grove. Hits the ball hard to the shortstop. Rizzuto's got it. Throws over to first, and the inning is over. That's out number three. Russo will lead off the inning. The Yankee pitcher, he's thrown, let's see, he's thrown 96 pitches. He's gone five innings. I mean, I could, his endurance is a 98. I could, how many pitches? He threw 135 pitches in his last start against Detroit. I could, I could probably get one more inning out of him. I think I could get one more inning out of him. Yankees are going to leave him in and try to get one more inning out of Russo. The 0-1 pitch. Pops the ball up on the infield. Not a lot of offense out of the Yankees today. And the second baseman has it for out number one. Phil Rizzuto. Of the three of the Yankees' three hits, Rizzuto has two of them. The 2-2 pitch. Bounces the ball to Lefty Grove, who turns and throws to first. And Rizzuto is out for the first time here today in Boston. Joe Gordon comes to the plate with two outs and nobody on the first pitch. Swings, hits the ball hard out to right field. Is that going to get down? It does. He doubles to deep right field. And Gordon is standing on second with a two-out double. Charlie Keller now comes to the plate looking to just get the Yankees on the board at this point. The 2-1 pitch to Keller. He swings, hits the ball hard down the third baseman line. But the third baseman is there, throws over to first. And Charlie Keller grounds out to third. The Yankees get a hit, but they leave that guy standing on second base. Russo now will face the top of the Red Sox order. Fox, DiMaggio, and Cronin. The 0-2 pitch to Fox. He swings and he hits the ball on the ground to the second baseman. He turns and throws to first, and Pete Fox is out. With one out, Dom DiMaggio now. The 1-1 pitch. Lines the ball to his brother in center field. Joe can't get there. Dom DiMaggio, the little professor, is on first base with a one-out single. Joe Cronin now. One out, runner on first, the 3-2 pitch to Cronin. He swings, high fly ball to Joe DiMaggio in center field. He camps under it, and he's got it for out number two. Two outs, Ted Williams comes to the plate. Runner on first, the 0-1 pitch to Ted Williams. He swings, pops the ball up on the infield. Second baseman camps under it, and he's got it for out number three. And so... After uh, Dom DiMaggio gets on with a single, nobody else can move him around. Joe DiMaggio now comes to the plate, looking for his first hit in this game. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, DiMaggio has had a, at least one hit in every game so far. This is the season. Kind of the reason I picked 1941 is I'm a really big fan of DiMaggio was one of the first players I remember reading about. And his 56-game hitting streak has always just been – just so incredible to me. 1941 is the season he really did it in. So that's why I picked this season. If he's looking to extend this hitting streak here at the beginning of the year, he very well may need to get a hit in this at bat. He may not get another at bat in this game. The 2 0 pitch to DiMaggio. Hits the ball hard to second. Second baseman stops it, throws to first, and DiMaggio is out at second. He may not get another chance to get a hit today. Tommy Henrik now with one out, the 0-1 pitch. Hits the ball hard to center field. This should get down, and it does. Henrik doubles into the left field, left center field gap. So with one out, the Yankees have a runner on second. Buddy Rosar, the 3-2 pitch to Buddy. He swings, and he struck out. Lefty Gomez is cruising in this game. Red Rolf with two outs. 
looks to bring Henrik on around. The 3-2 pitch to Rolf, and he walks. A two-out walk by Lefty Grove. This is the most trouble that Grove has been in all game. And here we are in the top of the seventh. Johnny Stern now with two outs. Runners on first and second. The 2-0 pitch. He swings. Hits the ball hard down the first baseline, but a diving stop by the first baseman stops the ball, and the Yankees once again can't get anything. They leave two on base. The Yankees will look to bring in a new pitcher here in the bottom of the seventh. Let's see, we have a right-hander, right-hander, right. So let's bring in a righty to relieve him. They're going to bring in Tiny Bottom. Yeah, let's do that. Right-handed pitcher. Well, I don't actually want to do that. I just want to look at stats, but anyway. Here's the pitch to Jimmy Fox from Tiny, the 0-2 pitch, and he struck out looking. Bobby Doerr now. The 3-1 pitch to Doerr, and he walks. So a strikeout and a walk, and that brings Jim Tabor to the plate with one on and one out, the 3-1 pitch. Pops the ball up on the infield. And he is out. Frankie Pitelak now with two outs and runner on first. The pitch from Tiny, the 0-2 pitch. Hits the ball hard to Rizzuto at short, who throws over to tosses the second. And the Yankees get out of it. The Yankees are running out of time and outs. They're down 6-0 here in the top of the eighth. With Tiny Bonham coming to the plate. Bonham, need to specify that. I'm going to bring in a pinch hitter, hitter because, I mean, you got to score some runs at some point. I'm going to bring in Frank Crossetti, the veteran shortstop to pinch hit. He's going to come in to face a lefty Grove, veteran against veteran. Crossetti played shortstop for a long time with the Yankees. Here, this was kind of the season where Rizzuto kind of became the guy. But Frank Crossetti, though, pinch hitting the 0-2 pitch against Grove. He comes off the bench and gets a leadoff pinch hit single. Rizzuto now, his, uh, his mentor and the shortstop ahead of him now. Standing on first base, Rizzuto with nobody out. He needs to get on base, the 0-1 pitch. Pops the ball up on the infield. Yankees just, just not their day, or not their night. One out, Joe Gordon now to the plate. Runner on first, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Hits the ball hard out to right field. Is this going to get down? No. Right fielder, who is? Let's see. Pete Fox called up to that one on the warning track, and Crosetti had to rush back to first. He thought that ball was going to get down, but no, sir. Pete Fox is there. So with two outs, runner on first, Charlie Keller now to the plate. Here's the pitch. Keller... Swings, and the ball's hit in the air, but a jumping grab by the Red Sox third baseman, Jim Tabor. And just like that, the Yankees thought they were about to score a run, but a great defensive play by the Red Sox third baseman. And now the Yankees will bring on a reliever. They'll bring in Marv Brewer here to face Lefty Grove, Fox, and DiMaggio. Here's the pitch now to Grove, the one-two pitch. He watches that one go by for strike three. Pete Fox now, who made a great play in, la uh, in the, I guess the top of last inning. He's now coming up to the player, the top of the eighth. Three-one pitch, and Pete Fox walks. Tom DiMaggio with one out, and Pete Fox on first base, the two-two pitch. DiMaggio watch watches that one go by for strike three. So Brewers come in and struck out two. Walked one, struck out two. Joe Cronin with two outs and Pete Fox on first. Here's the pitch. He swings, pops the ball up. It's a easy fly ball to left field. And Cronin is out. We're now in the top of the ninth. The Yankees, it's their last chance. You have DiMaggio, Henrik, Rosar, and if anyone gets on, Rolf is in the hole. Well, he's fourth up this inning. Joe DiMaggio now. Nobody out. The 2 1 pitch. DiMaggio. Hits the ball hard to second base, and he is out. DiMaggio looks like he's going to go 0 for 4. Hitless for the first time here in 1941. Tommy Henrik, the one-out pitch. 1-1. One, one. 
Hits the ball on the ground of the first baseman who picks it up and steps on the bag. And the Yankees are down to their final out here in this game against the Red Sox. Buddy Rosar now, two outs. Rosar, the pitch, he swings. Hits the ball up the middle. Rosar is not going to be the final out. He's going to get a base hit. And Red Rolf will indeed get to come to the plate with a runner on first and two outs here in the top of the ninth. Yankees losing 6-0. The 2-2 pitch, Rolf swings. It's a fly ball to right field, should be playable. Right fielder catches it, and the Boston Red Sox defeat the New York Yankees 6 to nothing. And so the series is split so far. Yankees won game one. Red Sox win game two, 6 to nothing. Uh, tune in next time. Next time we'll be go- uh, going against the Athletics, the A's, and you'll get to see next time who ends up winning this third game, the rubber match of the uh, the series. So – Appreciate you hanging with me. Hope you have a good rest of your day.